Would you ever use uh, Alexa or Siri or, you know, like well, for fear that Alexa's they're... Alexa's built into our new Lucid. Okay. And we and we can use our it has CarPlay, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can use your phone as your navigation and other things. So, so you're not concerned about them listening in and uh, you know all of this uh Well, actually yeah, sort of concerned, but I also uh, like Alexa in my home. <laughs> okay. And we have for example, I'll pull out my phone sometimes when we're driving home and I'll I'll call Alexa and I'll tap in and I'll drop into the the Alexa in our kitchen. I'll start talking to the dogs and they you hear them yelping, <laughs> yelping. Mommy and Daddy are coming. <laughs> I, I just remember there was it's, at some point I think I might have bought bought some product and and then I, I was setting it up and and it asked me. I was prompted, "Do you want to use Alexa?" And it said like it it's going to record. Yeah, I was like, I no, say no to that. No, when I see those kind of warnings, you know. Yeah. And, and the iPhone is really good about telling you nowadays if something right. you're doing might get you into being observed, watched, shared, and get known. I go know as much as I can on that, and I use oh, I forget what they call it that hides your IP address. It's oh built. yeah, yeah, VPN. No, yeah, VP, VPN is one thing. I even built my own on a Raspberry Pi. I built my own um, open VPN, the best VPN there is in my home on a real IP address that I have, real IP before. So when I'm overseas, I can even use my own VPN instead of others that wow. are known. Their their server addresses are known, and you know the countries you're in that don't like you doing everything can spot those addresses and block them. Wow. So VPN, but VPN's one way. But no, Apple, I forget what they call it. Oh my gosh, it's it's a little catchy two word phrase kind of. But it means you're going you're going with your IP address hidden from everything you do. Oh, okay. On the web. Yeah, Apple's gotten a lot better with privacy. And that's they that, stand for it. Yeah. They stand for it. Maybe it's just by accident that wound up where they where they were what they had, but I'm so glad for that. I wanna be uh you know, what we share photos in our families on on, on iCloud, cost two dollars a month, right? You share photos with albums and other friends of the family and can be in on it. And 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 it's protected. It's private. Nobody can take the data, you know, and find out everything you're doing. So it's, but but uh, Facebook says, oh, Apple is so expensive. They can do that. Two dollars a month. Why don't you do it? Let us let us pay for privacy on mm -hmm. on Facebook. That's my biggest. Probably of all big tech, Facebook's number one that I don't like. I mean, you got to be in the social web, but I don't. So I I pretty much avoid all the social web. I mean, yeah. I had Facebook. I had Facebook for a lot of years. Never used it. And I wound up saying yes to everybody who wanted to be a friend. So I had 5,000 Facebook friends, all people I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then then for three months, I actually went and started looking at Facebook because I kind of like little videos of dogs. Being <laughs> dogs and dogs being saved by people. No, this is true. I spent an hour every night on uh, TikTok just waiting for that. <laughs> nice. Just to, to see that. And, um, and, and then I found that whenever I was at an airport, I was flying a lot back then, like 200 flights a year. I'd just be, find myself scrolling through. And I said, if I have solitaire, I don't need this because it became so habit forming after three months. Yeah. And I don't like habits because that's addiction. Yeah. That's addiction. And I want to be, I think for myself and choose what I'm going to do. So I, I totally, we dropped Facebook, Janet and I just dropped our accounts, deactivated them, didn't quite drop them. So I'm still scared a bit. Took, had to take Facebook off my devices because I read how it can still grab data and right. report to Facebook even when you're not using it. Right. I, uh, I, don't, I don't believe this is right because you should have it honest that every person who uses it knows what they're doing. Like Steve would post something and I would click like. You know, I'm, I'm laughing. I'd click like. It's from me to Steve. Wait a minute. No, it's not to Steve. He doesn't ever see it. It's from me to 100 advertisers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah uh, learning wow. things about me. Learning things <clears throat> about me. And that is just shocking because that's not how we think of it. We think like is a way that I can actually... Yeah. indicate what I like and not that it's being used to advertise to me and uh, if you're a creative person as some of us are you don't want people to know what you're going to say next what you're going to do next where you're going to shop what you're going to buy when we should when we should give you this alert and all the time I notice that uh, sometimes devices that sort of guess on me guess you know you'll want to do this now no today I'm, I've got something else going on you know or, or traffic is not this way today because it's it's a midweek holiday mm -hmm. it's, and and they just algorithms just don't know what a dumbest human knows and they used to make it sound like oh artificial intelligence will be like a human we have <coughs> eyes the Tesla has, has has cameras and it'll be able to do what a human does and trouble is we don't know how the brains wired mm -hmm. we do not know how the brain does that stuff um, I know because I was a psychology major 
and uh, we don't even know that our memories are in the brain. Memory of this right, meeting okay. here. Don't know that's in the brain. I, I took all the strongest subjects in memory and psychology and read every book I could and went walking on the streets of Berkeley and buying more books from the older days. And where is memory? The best they had was, it must be everywhere because you take any part of the brain out and no memory gets lost from the rat. So it must be everywhere. Wow. What, I love what that. Are, but now I came up with something 40 years ago. I have to go back. Well, 1981, whatever that was, 40 years uh -huh. ago. Um, I, I came up with a statement to, to make fun of the fact that the books don't know anything. I said the strongest correlation you can come up with is that between the ages of 6 and 10, as we had learned, you lose two things. Your childhood autobiographic memories, things that you've done as a child, and you lose your teeth. Right. <laughs> and that's the strongest, best correlation. Now it's 2022 or something, one of these years, 2021. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't do years. But you can look up, you, you can search for teeth, memory. You're going to be shocked what you find today. So Not to mention Alzheimer's tests in the saliva and <coughs> the gums. So you're saying maybe your childhood memories are in your... Well, I, teeth? I was saying there's no way memories are stored in teeth. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was saying. But if I, saying that for but years. I have a stronger, more logical, mathematical explanation of where memories could be than you'll find in any book. Right. I, was make, I was just trying I to point out how weak the books were. Nobody listened to me, of course. I wrote it up for the professor, but... Do you, I, oh, sorry, Steve. Well, I was just like, it, it reminds me of uh, the, the thing that I came up with, which, which is that uh, my, my theory that the, the brain does not generate consciousness. The brain is not a transmitter of consciousness, but rather it's a receiver. And, and so I, I have this, uh, this metaphor, this analogy to, to describe what, what I'm saying is that um, we're, we're like a, a radio, kind of. A lot, you know? of people, a lot of people want to hear that, and you know, all the knowledge of the world is in waves. But you know what? I just, I just disown anything that says we can have between people, you know, some psychic connection through the air. I always disown it. All right. Okay. Telepathy? Yeah, you, you don't think telepathy is possible? Correct. Like, like the men who stare Not at real. goats is all bullshit. Probably. I don't know that one, but I just, I just think that. Uh, you know, like 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 it, you could take your your body, like uh, kill the body, but but you're not killing the consciousness. You yeah, know, like I, I you don't buy that. Okay, but then there but you I go. accept you. You have a good you have a good thinking. If you start with that as your assumption, yes, you can come up with yes. There's something out there. I can't disprove it. Right. So you're just as good as your thinking's just as good right. as mine. Mine just always wanted you know mathematical scientific proofs. You can hook a circuit together and see a light. Well, I, I love that too. <laughs> America. If you thought Jackass Forever was crazy, oh boy, do I have a show for you. It's a multimedia comedy show called The Bucket List Tour. And the stuff I filmed for this show is way too hot for Jackass. Like the general anesthesia bike ride, the vasectomy Olympics, and skyjacking. The footage is so intense, we have full grown men passing out at almost every city this bus goes to. So if you think you can handle it, get your tickets right now at stevo.com. Yeah. Steve -o, Steve -o, Steve -o, Steve -o.